Hello everyone. Today we'll quickly learn about the properties and styling of the date range picker widget. You can access the link to the documentation for this widget in the description below. Let's start with dropping the date range picker from the widget's inventory. This widget uses to select a range of dates. It is similar to the date picker widget, which only lets you select a single date. These are widely used across CRMs, forms, and many more. Now let's quickly dive into its properties by inspecting the widget. Default Start Date We can set the start date in our date picker. Let's provide today's date using the following code. Now users will have a start range to select the date. We'll look into formatting the dates in a while. Default End Date Similarly, we can set a limit to the end date. You can programmatically set it as per your use case. Let's provide a new range to it and see how our picker looks. On clicking the widget the date container appears and we can see the highlighted dates range which we had set above. Format This field is used to set the format in which the date is received. The default value is DDMMYYYY, which we won't be updating, as this is the format we're looking for. You can set the format as per ISO 8601, mentioned in the moment documentation. You can find the link in the description below. You can also view the entered value of the widget from the inspector panel on the left. It'll be available under Components, Component Name. We can see the end and start dates, which is the selected range. Tooltip. Under the general accordion, you can set the value of a tooltip. Let's try it out by entering the following value. Now when we hover on the widget, we find the tooltip with the assigned value. Layout. Toggle on or off to display the widget in desktop and mobile view. You can programmatically determine the value by clicking on FX to set a Boolean value. Now let's explore the styling of this widget. Click on the Styles tab to access the following options. Border Radius You can change the border radius for the widget. I am providing it with a value of 8. Visibility You can toggle it on or off to control the visibility of the widget. Disable Toggle to lock the widget. If toggled on, we won't be able to enter any value. You can programmatically change both options by clicking on the FX button. Box Shadow We can also apply a box shadow to our date range picker container. Let us expand the panel and set it with the following values. This is what our final date range picker widget looks like. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching. Please like share and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates.